Wow. <laughs> this is already out of control. Um, you guys, I had a crazy weekend. Um, I was at a bar that was like, no offense, a little livelier. Um, I was really drunk. Everyone in line for the bathroom with me was really drunk. This like other really drunk woman barges into the bathroom and she goes, you guys, somebody stop me. I'm about to go home with my ex. And everybody like dropped what they were doing to stop her. Like women were like peeing, like don't leave till I'm done peeing, I gotta stop you. And we all worked together and we stopped her. So I think socialism can work. I just think it has to be like a country of just drunk women. I'm glad I'm not on a date with anyone here. I took a date, I took a guy on a date to a show I was doing and it went really badly. Like, first he came to the show, then we hooked up after. Then I was like, but how did you enjoy the comedy show? And he was like, it was weird. Yeah, so like, I definitely do that in the wrong order. Like, it's like, it's like my grandma always said, like, no one's gonna tell the cow she's funny if you give her the milk. Um, I'm a big football fan. No one ever believes me because I look like my favorite sport is cake wars. Like, but actually, I'm such a big football fan. I named my cat after Debrika Shaw Ferguson, the former offensive lineman for the New York Jets. All right, my first year River Bowl. Not super excited about the many important accomplishments of Debrika Shaw Ferguson. Um, which is fine. Uh, one of my friends didn't know much about Debrika Shaw Ferguson either, but she knew that my boyfriend, when I got the cat, was black, and so she was like, oh, you named your cat to break a shot because he's half black. And I was like, whoa, like, just to be clear, we did not give birth to a cat. Right, like, he's not biracial, he's just like what cats are. Like, okay, he can't dance, but it's not because, like, he's half white, it's because he's a cat. It's like, if you couldn't tell from that joke, I'm single. And like, I was like, doing the app thing, I was like messaging some guy, and it, it felt like it was going well, and then he was like, hey, what's your vagina's name? And like, I had been in eight year relationships, so like, I didn't know we were all naming our genitals now. So I had to think fast, I was like, Hey brain, what's a good name for a pussy? And my brain was like, to break a shot. And I was like, all right, dude, it's it's to break a shot. And that didn't. That, he he was fine. Um. Cool. We're all having a great time. Um. So uh. What do you think? Um, I had, so I have like I have like an agent here in Chicago that's like supposed to help me get acting jobs, but instead they got me a job handing out free whiskey at a liquor store, right? Which is not the same. Like they were like, "Hey, you're a comedian. You'll be good at this." I was like, "I'm a comedian because I'm not good at anything." <laughs> So like, what's up the scene? They make you wear like black jeans and a whiskey brand t-shirt. But like, the only black jeans I have are from college so like I can cover my lower body but I can't zip the fly. But like, the t-shirt they gave me luckily is an extra large. Like it comes down to my knees and like I just hand out whiskey all day with my fly down, it's fine, whatever. Um, so I'm learning from this job. Is there's a certain type of guy out there that looks at like 
every stereotypical woman's job on like a spectrum from like kindergarten teacher to prostitute. And like whiskey hand her is like solidly on the prostitute side of like lady who reads the news. Which I just like decided as the middle. So like you get weird comments. Like this guy came up to me and he was like you know, honey, I'm only going to take this whiskey from you because you're not fat. Right? I was like, jokes on you, man. My pants don't fit. <laughs> then, like, another time a guy came up to me and he was like, hey, do you have a hog problem? And, like, there's this way that, like, guys hit on women that I call the rumple stilt skin because it's like, riddle me these questions three. But if it's the wrong answer you pick, I'm going to assume you wanted to see my dick. So this guy asks me if I have a hog problem. And I don't know which is like the wrong answer. Like if I say no, is he going to be like, if I say yes, is he going to be like, let me come over and fix it, right? If I say no, is he going to be like, well, do you want one? By the way, I call my dick hog problem. So I was just honest. I was like, I don't know what a hog problem is. And the, like, it turns out, if you're, if anyone is curious, a hog problem is when you live on a farm and a, the farm has too many hogs. So this guy like comes to your farm and he murders the extra hogs. And so I was like horrified to learn this, and he takes that as an opportunity to pull out his phone and start showing me pictures of the various hogs he's killed. And like, I don't know if any of you have been in this situation <laughs> where like uh, you're like forced to look at pictures of dead hogs on an iPhone, but you can't go anywhere because you're representing a brand of whiskey. But I was just like. Show me your dick. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm from Amish country, and you guys have a lot of misconceptions about the Amish. Like, everybody, people will be like, oh, I saw these Amish people at the mall. Like, the mall has electricity, they're all going to hell. And I'm like, that's not actually how it works, right? Like, Amish people are allowed to, like, be in a room with electricity. They just don't have lights in their home. Like, so as an example, like, we had Amish people come and fix my roof. And they weren't allowed to play music themselves. So, like, they would whistle all day while they were working on the roof. And, um... It sounds very adorable until you get woken up every morning by Amish men whistling on your roof, right? But, um, yeah, like, Snow White, I understand why she tried to kill herself. But, um, what I, what the, the point is that, like, the Amish men can't, like, play music themselves, but if I go up on the roof and I play a Limp Biscuit album, they can't turn it off. So I get my revenge. Um, one other last thing about Amish people you might not know is they sell a lot of drugs. You got in the house, you gotta just like walk out to Amish men until you find the one with coke under his hat. But like, they do. And like, they actually like busted a coke ring in my hometown that was run by two guys named Abner Stoltzfus and Abner J. Stoltzfus, who were not related. And I will close on that because you enjoyed it as much as my other jokes. All right.